Want to take a peek at what millennials are up to when it comes to their financial status? Are they truly as broke as the media portrays them to be? Well, stick around because today we're diving deep into the surprising world of millennial net worth. Hey everyone, this is Andy Hill with The College Investor, investing and personal finance for millennials. Thanks for hanging out today. Let's get started by defining who millennials are. They're technically anyone born between 1981 and 1996, making them roughly between 27 and 42 today. That's around 81 million Americans. But what sets them apart as a generation? Well, millennials have witnessed the rise of technology from their first computers to cell phones. Anyone remember the days of playing Oregon Trail on a green screen? Maybe it's just me because I'm an elder millennial. Anyway, here's a fun fact about millennials. 64% of us still get financial support from their parents. Yeah, depending on when the millennial graduated college, they could have entered a terrible or awesome job market. Remember, some millennials graduated from college before the financial crisis of 2007, some during it, and some after it. When you graduated from college played a huge role in your earnings right out of school. Millennials are also all dealing with life events at different times as well, from buying a house, to getting married, some did it before the recession, and some after. As a result, even some older millennials can still be behind financially. Plus, older millennials who have just started the recovery maybe just got hit with the pandemic, which has resulted in the largest number of unemployed Americans since the Great Depression. So it's really a mixed bag when it comes to millennials. They're really hard to define financially. Let's discuss some factors to consider about millennial net worth. When it comes to money, millennials are dealing with some challenges as we've described. They've got one of the highest student loan debt rates in history, averaging around $30,000 per person. But their financial journey also depends on when they graduated and the job market they entered. And man, do we need to consider student loans in this process. Just look at this chart. Student loan debt doubled within the millennial generation. So if you're 42 today, you likely graduated with around $18,000 in student loan debt. On the other end of the chart, 27-year-olds likely graduated with around $30,000 of student loans. Now let's get to the juicy part, millennial net worth. As we compare the net worth of millennials by age, let's take a look at average and stretch goals. We think it's important to always consider the average, but we also wanna leave you with a stretch goal to get yourself in the top 1%. Remember, net worth is assets minus liabilities. The main assets we're focusing on is savings based on income, and the main liability is student loan debt. Also, you have to remember that we've seen an exponential growth over the last few years due to a growing economy and bull market. These factors have helped compound growth at faster levels than can be expected in the future. Finally, we want to reemphasize that these are just our estimates before we show them. The Federal Reserve data lumps everyone under 35 into one bucket, so while we have some starting points, things can always skew one way or another. With that in mind, the Federal Reserve data for under 35 has the median net worth at $39,000, and the average net worth at $183,500. For ages 35 to 44, median net worth at $135,600, and average net worth at $549,600. Remember, we're pulling and estimating based on some very sparse data points as well as negative net worths for younger cohorts. This is just an estimate. But based on years of experience, we think it's a fairly accurate estimate. Let's go through our average millennial net worth by age. We'll start with age 27 first. 27, $8,142. Age 28, $16,626. Age 29, $30,688. Age 30, $42,339. 31, $54,110. 32, $77,308. 33, 104,458. 34, 122,057. 35, 141,638. 36, 169,917. 37, 182,006 dollars. 38 years old, $227,171. 39, 
277,650, age 40, 319,559, age 41, 372,153, and finally, age 42, $380,954. Now it's important to note, if you're comparing this to past charts, the Federal Reserve data has shown significant growth in the older cohorts. Our data aligns with this as these individuals have likely been working and seeing significant investment gains over the last few years. For reference, the median millennial net worth is 135,600. The true geometric average of millennial net worth is actually $549,600, but that number is heavily skewed by outliers like millennial multi-billionaires like Mark Zuckerberg. So what that means is if you want to be better than average, the 50% mark is $135,600 overall. So if you're younger, you need less. If you're older, you need more. Based on our data about the Gen Z net worth, the inflection point for negative net worth to positive net worth happens around age 26 and 27. Okay, maybe you wanna be above average. We've got some stretch goals for you then. The high achiever millennial net worth by age. To get there, you'll need to eliminate your student loan debt, boost your income by 25%, and save at least 25% of your income. Here are those stretch goals by age, starting with age 27. Age 27, $50,000, 315. Age 28, $75,000, 768. Age 29, $126,000, 688. Age 30, 162,680. Age 31, 214,110. Age 32, 264,308. Age 33, 324,948. Age 34, 382,057. Age 35, 421,638. Age 36, 554,820. Age 37, we go all the way up to 615,851. Age 38, 737,171. Age 39, 812,250. Age 40, 889,599. Age 41, we're breaking the million here, 1,067,319. And finally at age 42, 1,257,194. Now it's a stretch, but it's possible for high achievers. And now the golden question you all are wondering, how can you boost that net worth? Well, time is your biggest ally, but you can also focus on boosting your income and eliminating your debt. It's all about making your money work for you. It's essential to track your net worth as well. We are fans of Empower because it's free, it has great financial tools, and it's all online. You can check out Empower for free by scanning this QR code or clicking the link in our video description. So there you have it. Millennials are not just broke and burdened with debt. They're a diverse group with various financial journeys. And remember, you don't have to settle for average. Strive to be an above average, high achieving millennial by eliminating debt, increasing your income, and saving wisely. Well, enough from our side, everyone. We wanna hear from you. Are you a millennial who's already above average? What do you think drives that success for people? Share your thoughts in the comments below. This is Andy Hill from The College Investor. We'll see you in the next video.